let's solve some more equations. And maybe you know right off the top of your head what number we multiply 5 by to get 215. But I'm going to talk about a little more methodical approach. So if we get to some wackier numbers, we still know what to do. Now, the name of the game in solving equations, of course, is isolate the variable. Get the variable alone on one side of the equation. Whatever's on the other side, that's your solution. So we want to get the x alone here. It's being bothered by this 5. Now, we can't just subtract 5. That'll give us 5x minus 5. And what are we going to do with that? The x is multiplied by 5. We undo multiplication with division. We divide both sides by 5. You start with two equal numbers, and you divide by the same thing that's not zero, no dividing by zero. If you divide by the same thing on both sides, then the quotients have to be equal. Now the fives here cancel out, and you remember why, right? We can write this as five over five times x. Five over five is just one. So this side's just x, and we're left with 215 divided by 5. And you might have been able to jump straight to this. is 5 times x is 215. Then x has to be 215 divided by 5, right? I mean, say 3 times 4 is 12. That means 3 is 12 divided by 4. It's kind of the same idea here. x is 215 divided by 5. You just divide that out. 200 divided by 5, well, that's 40. So 205 divided by 5 is 41. 210 divided by 5 is 42. 215 divided by 5 is 43 and we're on to the next problem. Now here, the variable is divided by something instead of multiplied. We undo division with multiplication. We're going to multiply both sides by 9. If we have two equal numbers and we multiply them by the same thing, we get two equal products. We're doing the same thing to both sides. We're multiplying them both by 9. These 9s will cancel out, leave our variable all by itself. That was the plan all along. And b is 9 times 31. 9 times 30 is 270. 9 times the 1 is another 9. And that gives us 279. We're on to the final equation. Yikes. We have all sorts of complications here. Um, well, I don't see a magical thing to do this just in one step like we did the other two, so I'm going to try to handle the complications one at a time. First complication out here is this negative sign. A C doesn't want to be near that negative sign, so we're going to get rid of the negative sign by multiplying both sides by negative 1. We have negative 1 times 40 equals negative 1 times the negative 2C over 5. Now, that just gives us negative 40 over here negative times a negative, that's a positive, leaves me with 2c over 5 here. Well, at least we got rid of the negative. Now, well, we can get rid of the 5 by multiplying both sides by 5. Of course, the 5's cancel over here. This gives me negative 200 over here on the left. Negative 200 equals 2c, and you can see where this is going now. We can divide off the 2. Divide off the 2, and we get negative 100 equals c. We got the c all by itself. We solved the equation. c is negative 100. What's that? Oh, you don't like having to do all these steps? You want to do it in one step? You know how to do it in one step. Oh, we can combine everything we did here. We multiply by negative 1. We multiply by 5. We divide it by 2. We can do that all in one step by multiplying by negative 5 over 2. That's very clever. Let's check that out. So we started with this equation. Another way to think about this equation is 40 equals negative 2 fifths times c. And we want to cancel out this negative 2 fifths. Now, if you take a number and you multiply it by its reciprocal, you get 1. So what I want to do here is I want to multiply by the reciprocal of negative 2 fifths. That's very clever. The reciprocal of negative 2 fifths is negative 5 halves. So what I'll do here is I'll go I'm going to multiply both sides by the same thing. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 5 halves. Then I'm going to multiply the other side by negative 5 halves as well. These are reciprocals. They cancel out. That'll be 1. I'll be left with c over here. Negative 5 halves of 40. Negative 5 times 40 is negative 200. Divided by 2 is negative 100. All in one step. 
we have a constant times a variable. We just multiply by the reciprocal of the constant, and away it goes. Now, a great thing about equations, again, is we can check our answers. We can put negative 100 back into this equation and make sure we get the right answer, make sure that 40 comes out, and we put negative 100 in there for C. So let's check that out, negative 2 times negative 100 over 5. Let's multiply this out. We have negative, this is negative 200 over 5. Negative 200 over 5, that gives us negative 40. And then we negate it again, that gives us 40 back. Matches up, and we're done.